Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Let's say you have got a bunch of images on a particular folder and you want to find images that are similar in nature. So maybe there is a shoe and there is another shoe and you want to find these two images or maybe leave the fashion data set outside. So now you have an entire portfolio of e-commerce uh, data set and then when you want to do recommendation, you want to find something that looks similar to it and then you want to do recommendation. It could be uh, slightly different in color or it could be same uh, similar product category. To give you an example, a phone might look similar to an iPad, but a phone might look entirely different from, uh, let's say, a shoe or a jewel. So you want to recommend these kind of images. So how do we find similar images? This is a problem that uh, could be tackled in a lot of different ways. But in this video, I'm going to show you a very new Python package, just deep learning um, behind the scenes to help you find similar images. If you are new to finding similar images, I've also got another video using a different library, which is called Image YouTube, where we would ultimately find similar Pokemons. And I would link that in the description, so please check it out. Let's get started with this package, and then I would quickly show you how this works, and then we will actually do a hands-on with Pokemon dataset again. So the first step is you have to install this package, the library, deep image search. Please make sure about the uh, characters, like uppercase, small case. Uh, recently, there are there are like multiple articles where a um, lot of spammers are using PyPy to uh, share pirate movie links. So if you're going to install something from PyPy, make sure that you are doing it in the right way. You know the developer, you know the source code, just do not do anything randomly. That's a side note. Once you install PyPy, uh, Im deep image search, then the next step is uh, we have to load the important classes that we want. So what are the classes that we want? Um, so it the first one is, I think, okay, yeah. Uh, the first one is index. Index is for, uh, okay, I should start from this order. Load data is for loading data from a particular folder. Index is for indexing and then finally searching the image. It is the same order in which we are going to do our task as well. So let's say you have got a folder. In my case, this is where my data set is. Because I'm using a Kaggle notebook, it gives me data set also. So I don't have to, you know, manually import a data set. Like unlike Google Collab, where you might have to put the data set on your Google Drive and then import it, mount it um, to your Google Collab environment. So here I'm getting the flexibility of having the data set already and then from that I'm sourcing it. So this is my path where I've got the where I've got the images and then I'm going to say load data from folder and then I pass on the folder list. Please make sure that the folder list that you're passing on should be a list and uh, the list can have multiple folders. It's not like only one folder you can pass on, you can pass on multiple folders but it is not a character you have to pause on a list. Once you do that thing, so you have all the images name here and then the next step is you're going to index it. So before you search, you need to index it and uh, the way you index it is using index function and also you can start it. So this process takes a bit of time. Uh, so the first step doesn't take time at all. This process takes a bit of time depending upon how many images you have got and then the size of the image. And it, you can also see it downloads a pre-trained um, TensorFlow model or weight from um, the TensorFlow hub. And then once this process is done, so you can see the metadata being stored in a particular place uh, and you get to see which path is where uh, the metadata information is stored. So here is where uh, image data features is where metadata stored and this is where your index file is stored. But you don't have to do anything with that. So the next step is we immediately get into finding similar images. So search image and get similar images. The first argument is where you say for which image you want to find similar images and how many similar images you want to find. So once you say this thing, it's going to show you um, uh, five images in my case, which are, which are like similar images. And then finally, uh, if, you, if, you, if you want to plot it as well, you can say uh, find, plot similar images, which by default plots uh, 16 images. So I'm using a Pokemon image data set. Uh, you can find any other data set. The reason why I'm using this data set is because this is quite small and it has a lot of images. And of course, for everyone, Pokemon is fun. So let's get started. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to do this, you can either stop this video at this point, take this notebook, which also I would link in the YouTube description and a kind request. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video or any other video, please share it with your friends and give a like and share, uh, share your thoughts. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. So you can either go to this notebook and then say that you will see a button called copy and edit. You could do that and then you would get this uh, notebook and then you can run it and practice it. Or you can start with a fresh data set like a how I do. So find a data set on Kaggle, click new notebook. Okay, I basically don't even need this. Okay, so pip install 
uh, deep image search and then run it i hope it's correct okay i didn't put q so it's going to uh, so the next step is um, we need this and then the next step is we need this I'm going to while it is installing you know to save time I'm going to do all these things copy all the codes so that it's easier for us uh, the next step is this and the next step is oops and the next step is this and the final step is this okay so at this point a library is installed successfully um uh, it has a lot of uh, i cannot clear i think okay clear can i clear okay okay i don't want to clear okay so the next step is i'm going to run this which is like importing the required uh, classes from the library next i have to copy the path file path where we have got the data so i'm copying the file path i'm going to paste it here I hope it doesn't take a lot of time, um, but you know, you never know. Okay, this is the actual path where we have got the files. That's weird. Um, okay, I'm going to copy it from here. Yes, I'm getting null there. Save it. Load it. Okay, the path is fine. Um, I don't need you. Okay, this is this is my first image, right? Okay. Um, start. So this, like I said, this would take a couple of minutes, maybe. Okay, in this case, it's seconds, uh, where it is downloading a pre-trained model uh, or model weights, and uh, it's going to do indexing. Um, you can see approximately it is saying that it would take about like five minutes or four minutes. Uh, and uh, the next step is uh, we do search image, and then after search image, we do uh, plot similar images. In case if you're watching this video and then you suddenly feel there is a cut and then suddenly it's moving on i don't want you to stare at your screen for the five minutes so i'm going to edit the five minutes of indexing time so probably you would see something like 10 percent suddenly 100 percent so there is no black magic here now that the indexing is done it took about like close to five minutes the meta information is stored here and then the indexing file is stored here so now what are we going to do so now we are going to say uh, i want to find similar images which is find some other images so um, I can zoom it a bit and then say this, this is like I want similar images of my like first image in my path okay so if you want you can um, you can print this and then say head okay. I shouldn't have done head it's a list okay um, so first image is throw okay so now i'm going to say uh, find similar images for throw which is like my first image and then it's giving me uh, all the images that are like relevant so crocodile and uh, all these things okay so i don't understand pokemons much simplicity what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick the first image which is this one copy it and then give it to my image path okay okay we have got a list of images and then let's see the similar images of it so the first image is the actual image and it's saying like of course these two look actually similar to me and uh, not much but uh, maybe like hand position i don't know how this works but uh, it works so you can test this on e-commerce data set and other data set if you have time uh, or if you have your own data set where you want to find similar images please check it out and let me know your feedback also let uh, let the developer know um, you know how it works um, but i think this is a very good out of box solution for anybody to get started with finding similar images uh, for whatever purpose they want to do it so i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise stay safe